thank you for joining us. Here we want to solve this problem 4 raised to the power x plus 2 plus 4 raised to the power x plus 5 equals to 65. And we are finding the resolution value of x here. And uh, if you are just joining us newly, subscribe to this channel, turn the notification bell on to receive updates on our new upload. Also, if you have been watching this you know, channel for a while and you are yet to subscribe, also subscribe and turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Now, from here, let's factor 4 raised to the power x plus 2 out here. So, when we take it out from this you know, equation here, that means we are going to use it to divide. So, when 4 raised to the power x plus 2 divides itself, we have 1. Then plus, what you are going to left, half left here is that, let's look at it. We are dividing 4 raised to the power x plus 5 by 4 raised to the power x plus 2. So we have 4 raised to the power x plus 5 divided by 4 raised to the power x plus 2. Don't forget from uh, the law of indices. When we have a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n. What this one give us will simply be a raised to power m then minus n. That is, we subtract the power. So when we subtract the power, we have this. So from the law of indices. Now let's look at this now. By the time we subtract this power here, that means we have 4 raised to power x plus 5 minus all this power here which is x plus 2 and don't forget that minus you open this bracket we have 4 is to power x plus 5 then minus x then minus 2 minus has opened that power so when we look at this now minus you know x minus x has cancel out we have 5 minus 2 that's 3 so we have 4 is to power 3 and 4 is to power 3 there is same thing as uh, 64 so that means what we have inside here to be 4 is to power 3 is same thing as 64 then equals to 65 then from there we can solve for that now and we have what is left now be 4 is to power x plus 2 then multiply by, we have 64 plus 1, that's multiply by 65, equals to 65. So now, we have 65 here, we have 65 here. We can divide through by 65. When we divide through by 65, divide this one by 65. So 65 cancel 65 here. And we have 65 here, 1, 65 here, 1. So we have 1 left on this side. So now, we can write this as, 4 raised to power x plus 2 now we give us 1 and don't forget that we write any number raised to power 0 is 1 so we can write this 1 in base 4 so that we have 4 raised to power 0 and 4 raised to power 0 will give us 1 so now when we write that as 4 raised to power 0 we have 4 raised to power x plus 2 we then be equals to 4 raised to power 0. And uh, from here now, the base are the same. We can equate the power. So we have x plus 2. We then give us 0. So the base has cancelled out. Then we solve for x by taking plus 2 to this side. We have x equals to minus 2. So x equals to minus 2. And from here, we can check. Whether this solution satisfy the equation given. The equation given is 4 raised to power x plus 2 plus 4 raised to power x plus 5 is equal to 65. Now let's check whether this will give us 65. When we put x equals to minus 2. So let's write this again and put x equals to minus 2. We have 4 raised to power minus 2. That's x plus 2, then plus 4 raised to the power minus 2 plus 5. Will it give us 65? Now let's check 
whether this one this statement will be true here so we have minus 2 plus 2 that's 0 so we have 4 is to power 0 then we have minus 2 plus 3 that's 2 that's same thing as 5 minus 2 that's 3 there that's plus 4 is to power 3 4 is to power 3 will it give us 65 now from here we discover that 4 is to power 0 that's 1 so we have 1 plus 4 is to power 3 we have 64 so we need to be 65 of course 1 plus 64 that's 65 then we have 65 is equal to 65 which is valid left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we can conclude that x equals to minus 2 is a solution thank you for joining us don't forget subscribe and turn the notification bell on we say thank you see you in the next class and bye for now